Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial, uh, Photoshop tutorial on how to uh, make a red circle in Photoshop. Now as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. This is my desktop. I don't have Photoshop open yet, but um, during uh, this tutorial, uh, I will have it open. Um, just something that you should know if you are new to Photoshop, uh, it is a very, very complicated program to learn but it's very easy to pick up so the first thing that we want to do is we want to open Photoshop now the way that you open Photoshop after you've installed it and put it onto uh, your computer which is what I'm on right now uh, you want to uh, as you can see I have it down here already to go if I want to click it then I can just click it and and it'll pop up or you can go to your start button and what you want to do is you want to left click on the start button and what will th what that will do is it will bring up um, many different programs but you want to look up under A for Adobe and then click on Photoshop now I've just recently installed this uh, this this Photoshop copy so I might get a few tutorials yes as you can see um, you know the, the the great thing about Photoshop is that it allows you to um, to to see what what's out there right now so um, but I'm already an expert so I'm going to exit out and then um, uh, oh yes uh, you want to go to create new now that what that will do is it will it will create a, a new project in, in Adobe Photoshop, which is what we're in right now. As you can see, the display right here is, um, the, you know, these are things that you can drag and drop an image or, you know, another option is you can select one from your computer to get started. Um, oh, that's funny. It says it right here. It says exactly what I just said. And uh, what, what that allows you to do is it allows you to bring in a file outside of Adobe Photoshop and lets you just drop it in instead of having to go to file which is on the upper left hand corner and open which is it gets kind of, it gets to be a hassle especially when um, you when you're kind of a uh, professional graphics artist like myself uh, you you want to move quicker uh, you want to move um or what's the right word faster if you will so this is Photoshop and so the first thing you want to do as we get closer to how to design a red circle um, you want to go to create new you click left click on that and it's going to bring up a little display and that what this dis display shows is uh, the size of your canvas which is the size of uh, the, the the which is going to be the size of uh, the area that you're going to be um, designing in and uh, as you can see I have the resolution up to a, a bit high it's, it's at 300 and uh, the standard is usually 72 um, I don't know why 72 and not 70 um, I mean if it were up to me it'd be 75 just rounded off um, higher uh, and um, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna keep this at 75 and we're going to keep this at at a uh, landscape. See what the difference between these two? Uh, can you see these two like people, um, or they look like cannons shooting cannonballs out? But they're actually people. And what it's displaying is uh, a portrait, um, which is like like a portrait of a of a person, kind of how like this person is standing in there. And then a landscape, which is imagine if you will taking a piece of paper and turning it on its side and this way it's more horizontal uh, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with the with the horizontal um, a look um, uh, we're gonna stick with RGB color which stands for red green and blue background white and uh, let's just get started shall we it's loading Okay, as you can see here, I have a lot of extra windows because I just installed this, so I'm already an expert, so I don't need to learn anything else. I know Photoshop uh, inside and out, so I'm going to close. I'm going to close it. Oh, oh, libraries. Um, 
Well, you oh, the great thing you can do with Photoshop is you can drag in tabs, but we'll get into that later. So here we are. We have our little um, display here of Photoshop, and the the thing that you want to focus on here is uh, is possibly uh, zooming in because it's kind of a it's kind of far away from what we want to do. So what you can do is you can um, find the magnifying glass, kind of like how a detective. Uh, you know, has uh, how detectives solve murders. They have their magnifying glass, and that's how they solve murders. Um, but it's called the zoom tool. Or you can just hit, as you can see, the Z button. And what that will do is a shortcut. Watch, watch my cursor. See how it does that? Isn't that neat? Photoshop's a pretty amazing tool once you get the, the hang of it. And watch, I will click once, and it gets bigger, just like that. It's incredible. So, as you can see over here, we have our layers. Now, what those are is think of it as, um, think of it as uh, panels of glass, if you will. And each glass, you're putting something on it so that you can, for instance, if I have a a, a drawing of a park, will be on one panel of glass, and then I put another panel of glass in front of it, uh, and that panel of glass has a person on it. So that person looks like that they're in a park, but in reality, they're on two separate panels of glass. So that think of that as your layers, and the way that you can create new layers is this little plus button right here. It's actually really simple. Just click right, uh, I'm sorry, left click that, and a new layer appears just like that. Now, when you open a new uh, Photoshop um, document, um, you're you're always going to start with a background, and it's going to be locked. And what that does is it, it, it keeps this white background, which depending on what you're doing, you may want there, you may not. For but for this for this case, we're we're just going to keep it because we're not we we're not going to design too much on the background. So I have this new layer, which means that no matter what I draw on here, it's not going to affect this layer at all. In fact, it's only going to affect this layer. And so let's rename this layer so we don't get confused. I'm going to right click. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to right click. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find. Oh, it looks like I can't find rename. Oh, so a quicker way to do it is just double click and look like look at that. And let's we're going to rename it um, red circle. I got a little uh, typo, got a little excited. Red circle, here we go. All right, and just like that, the name has changed. So now when we, I'm sorry, I got a few more typos in there, but I think we get the gist of it. We're, we know exactly what this is. It's the red circle. So let's get started with the red circle. Now, on your canvas, what you wanna do is, there, well, there are many ways that you can make a circle. You can make a circle with the brush tool which can be found right here, or you can hit B. Look at that, isn't that cool? And up here you have different brush styles. And so what we're gonna do is look in our general brushes, and we're gonna go with a hard round. Hard round. Now right now we're in the black. As you can see down here, we're in the black color. So if we click and hold, everywhere that our mouse goes, it's going to follow with the brush tool. Now we don't want that. We we don't like that at all. It's it's we don't want a little swirly thing. We want a red circle. So to get rid of that, you can either you can either control A, which will select everything and hit delete, or a much easier way, let's bring it back with uh control alt Z. Sorry, control Z. That's uh to put it back, uh, to 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 undo the to redo the undo. It's very confusing. Uh, you can go to the eraser tool here. It looks like a little eraser or E and what it's going to do as this display is kind of spoiling it for you. Um, that's supposed to be my job. Uh, you can easily erase it just like that. All right, let's make sure we get all of it. And here we go. And we, there we go. We have a blank canvas again. So that's another way to make the circle. So what we want to do is make a red circle. So we're going to go up to the color panel right here. Click on that, uh, left click on that. And you see this little eyedropper, the, like the little thing that you uh, drop in your eye when you have like pink eye. Um, you you want to drag it to the red. 
drag it to the red. Now we could change it to any color we want, actually. But for this tutorial, we don't want to get too confused and, and go to blue. Well, let's stick with red here. So here we are. And one way you can make a red circle is you can click and, hmm, oh, we're still in the eraser tool. Oops. So what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, the brush tool. That's right, the brush tool. And what that will do is it will make, there you go. Look at that. Look how, look how much progress we've made in just simple, easy steps. And what you can do is you can just color it in, kind of like a child playing with a coloring book, and there you go. It's great. It's perfect. You have a red circle. Um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Z to undo, and there it is. It's gone. Another way, if you want to get more accurate in your in your circle drawing, there's a, a a kind of a complicated tool. It's called the pen tool, and it's right over. Um, it's right here. Here it is. It's right here. It's um. It's right here. Um, they might have gotten rid of it in this new uh, version of Photoshop, so I could be wrong. Um, perhaps it's... Um, well, dang, Nabbit, where is it? It used to be right here. It used to be right in the healing... It used to be right... Oh, there it is. It's right here. The pen tool. Now, how you want to make a circle is you want to click... And what that will do is make a point. Nope, no spoilers. Please go away. And you want to click at another point. Now, look at that. That's a straight line. And there are no straight lines in a circle. But if you pull, you'll see these little tabs. And what you can do with these is you can, uh, oops, you, you can change them. So, uh, so we're going to make a circle. It's not going to be perfect, but it's a circle. And ooh, we're going to do a little bit of an overlap, but that's okay. Um... We're going to just uh, overlap it a bit. There we go. And we got a circle. Now, what you want to do here is right click. And you want to say make selection. And what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of the guy, the, the, the pen tool lines. And it's going to make a selection. There we go. And now what we want to do is, sorry if I'm going a little bit fast, but we want to go to this thing called the gradient tool. But if you hold down, there's a paint bucket tool. And if you click in the middle... There you go, a red circle. Now, it's not perfect. It's very hard to make perfect circles in Photoshop, but you get the hang of it. So we're going to go back to the eraser tool, which is um, it's right here. It's, it's right here. And uh, what you want to do is just kind of use your artistic eye and just kind of, yeah, just kind of uh, eyeball it and get it right. Try to get the most perfect circle that you can. Kind of looks like uh, the Japanese flag a little bit, um, which is sometimes, you know, you get happy accidents. Next thing you know, you're designing something you had no idea about. And uh, there, yeah, and as far as Photoshop goes, that's probably the closest we're going to get to a perfect circle. But, you know, this tutorial is not about making a perfect circle, just a regular red circle. And there you have it. And so what you can do now is go to File. Go to save. Well, no, I'm sorry. Go to save as. And I'm going to save to my computer. And what we want to do is we want to go down here, save as type, and you want to hit JPEG. JPEG is probably the highest quality you're going to find. And instead of calling it untitled one, let's call it, let's call it red circle. Oops. Circle. I still got it. I'm so bad with that kind of stuff. And save. And uh, you don't ever want to go fully high quality because um, the internet itself only has so much space. So you kind of want to bring it down. I usually don't go above four, my personally. So let's uh, for this. Let's go three. And um, I'm gonna hit OK. And what that's gonna do is gonna save your file. And so let's go back to the desktop where I saved it. And look right here. Your red circle. Perfect red circle, and that's how you make a red circle in Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and um, you know, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please uh, hit that hit that like button, and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you're notified for uh, more amazing videos like this one. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. 
All right, guys, have a, have have fun designing. Bye bye.